What is up everybody? Welcome back to the show. In this video, I want to share with you the viewer submissions from our latest photo assignment, which is red. Now, if you are not familiar with photo assignments, these are these bi-weekly challenges that I'm giving you guys that are designed to challenge our skills in creative thinking and our overall abilities as photographers. I will give you more information at the end of this video, but our latest photo assignment is called red. And so this is viewer work from red. Let's go. You guys are submitting some outstanding work for photo assignments and you can see that is evidenced here and it's really exciting for me there were over 1500 entries this week and I featured a few more than I typically do and of course with something like red that's open to interpretation you can expect to see a lot more work in but I'm really excited about it because you know this is a bigger deal than I ever envisioned this being when I introduced these as part of the show so I'm really excited and you guys need to be very proud of yourselves if you haven't had your work featured on here yet do not give up remember there's a social component to this so keep trying and keep putting your work out there and keep improving that is the whole point of photo assignments I do want to mention one thing though and I hate that I have to mention this but it came up this week and I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning but it didn't come up until now and there and a couple of you submitted images that I wanted to include and I couldn't and you're gonna know who you are and the reason why is they had boobs in them now personally I have no problem with the human body the human figure has been a part of art history since cave drawing and it blows my mind that in 2017 people still have a problem with the human body but they do and the problem is is not what I want to include or don't want to include the problem is is that I distribute these videos on YouTube and iTunes and I have to play by their rules and this is a gray area rule when you get into to subjective content it's subjective so you'll see one video that gets knocked and you'll see another one that just does just fine and they leave it up and there's really no consistency I can't afford to be the video that gets knocked off it wouldn't be fair to the show it also wouldn't be fair to the 120 people that got featured in here if one spoiled it all so I really hate to say that boobs I can't do on the show and so 
I apologize. I don't have a problem with it personally, but that's just how things are. And so I am sorry about that. But I want to point out a few things. First of all, people are submitting images. The way this works is that we do these videos on Monday and I will do some kind of instructional thing around it. And a lot of the images that came in this week, the last video that I did on that was one on color palettes. Because when you're doing red as your theme, red typically isn't going to be the only color you have in a photograph, and it's going to be very effective when you have that as part of a color palette. I'll link that video up if for some reason you haven't seen it. But what's really interesting is you can see that a lot of people took those color palettes into what they were doing and applied it to their own work. It's really exciting to see that, and so I'm totally stoked. There is one image in here that I want to point out to you this week that I thought was particularly interesting. And this is Atsy Hold. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And this is an image, I don't know if you could tell because I know the slideshow moves by fast. This is a girl riding a scooter past a billboard that had flowers on it. And what I liked about this image is that it ends up with this kind of the surrealistic thing that uh, there was a conceptual artist that I've talked about a lot, Luigi Gieri, who was an Italian photographer. He used to do that. He would photograph people against billboards. And when you don't see the borders of the billboard, like your sense of reality kind of gets skewed a little bit and just the proportions aren't quite right and there's something that's kind of weird with the depth in it. Anyway, I wanted to point that out because Luigi Geary is somebody I have mentioned on all these color videos and I thought it was really cool that Atsy used that technique in his photograph. And so awesome work guys. I'm really excited about this and if you want to participate in photo assignments, basically we do these every Monday and I will give the assignment and in the next week or two, we have kind of two week period where we have to put these images together then I feature them on the show and uh, the way it works is you will submit them on social media and you will use a hashtag for Instagram and Twitter and that hashtag is photo assignments or alternatively you could go over to the Facebook page which is at facebook.com slash the art of photography and you can submit it there I usually do a thread you can also just post it directly to the page if you like to do that as well and uh, this has been a lot of fun I'm excited now I'm going to say this, moving forward, I'm going to put some more challenges around this. Red was kind of wide open for interpretation, but next week's is going to be a little harder. First thing I'm going to do, or actually not going to do, is I'm not going to tell you today what that photo assignment is going to be. This is one I will let you know what it's going to be on Monday. Typically what happens is I announce a photo assignment and a slew of photographs get posted in the first hour of me posting that video. The idea is to work on these and, and actually try to learn something and get something new out of them. So that's the first thing I'm going to do to maybe curb that just a little bit. So I will be back on Monday telling you what the next photo assignment is. And uh, there's a few more surprises in line as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, and as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, later.